guys so we are going to pick up the keys right now because we were originally planning on moving in today but then the like you have to book the elevator in order to move in because obviously like you don't want to be taking up the elevator when people are trying to go on it and I'm pretty sure there's two elevators and so you have to book one in order to like move in and stuff so then they just like block off the elevator for you so that you can just have it all to yourself so it makes it easier to move in so we got the elevator booked for tomorrow at 8 a.m because it was all booked up today so we couldn't get it for today so we can't move in today but we're going to go pick up the keys because he's like well, oh, well I'll give you guys the keys tonight because our elevator is booked so early in the morning it's 8 a.m so we're gonna have to wake up at like 6 so it was just better that he gave us the keys tonight so yeah when we get there I'm gonna be showing you guys I think I'm gonna do an empty apartment tour for you guys because that's gonna be the perfect time to do it when we literally have moved nothing in yet we do have some stuff as you can see in the back here um, this is honestly a lot of my clothing. This is like all the droll stuff plus my clothes and then his bike. So we're gonna see if they will let us do a couple of trips just to move up bags and you know, do that without having the elevator booked. Um, so hopefully they'll allow us to do that because it would be really nice to empty the van today. So yeah, we'll see. But anyways, move in. Day one is tomorrow, I guess you could say, but today you're getting the empty apartment tour, so we're getting the keys. Yay. Okay, so we are currently going into Ikea because we're just gonna grab a couple of things for the place because now we have the keys, so we're planning on getting like some bar stools and then our TV console right now and then going into the apartment and like putting it there just so we don't have to do it all tomorrow because no one's at the elevator right now. Okay, so we think that this is the console, TV console we're gonna get. It's really just sleek and nice and it has a lot of storage and it's like all the storage is hidden so it like it's gonna create no mess and it's very sleek. And we also like that it's like high because like a lot of the other ones are kind of low. So we like how it's high. So the TV, so we don't have to mount the TV. Look on the online, I feel like they can restock in like a couple weeks. You know what I mean? seven o'clock a.m. Uh, I woke up an hour ago. I literally woke up at 6 a.m. because we had to load a couple last minute things into the van. As you can see, we're kind of jam packed here. We got the mattress, um, we got a dresser unit, and then like a couple random bags. And we just stopped to get Tim Hortons. I got a farmer's wrap and a coffee because I feel like if I don't eat now, then I'm not gonna eat because our moving time's at eight. So if I don't eat now, I know I'm not gonna eat for like another hour, like a few hours, and then I'm just gonna get so hangry. So I'm like, let's just stop on the way so we can eat something, get our bellies a little filled so that I don't get hangry. Because I get hangry, so like I get such a bad case of hangriness. Like, anyway, so that's the situation this morning. Mm, what else is there saying? I really hope the rain holds off because it's supposed to, there's a literal rainfall warning for today. And the clouds are so gloomy right now. Like you can tell it's about to rain. And that's literally the perks of, that's the perks of living in Vancouver is you get rain tw almost 24 seven. I'm surprised it's actually not raining right now because it was raining this morning, like earlier. But anyways, today's official moving day. Keep you guys updated. Woo, moving day. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you an apartment tour. This is a big grand revealing moment. So, this is a door when you walk in. So you walk in this way, and then right here there's a nice storage closet. And then you turn right, and we're in the bathroom. Here's a light. 
So here is the bathroom. It has nice storage doors there. Nice big mirror. And then we need to get like a curtain for the shower. And then you turn here, the door is here, door to closet's here. And then the kitchen is right here. This is literally the dream kitchen. Um, as you can see, like the fridge is cabineted. I don't even know if that was a good explanation of it, but you guys get the gist, the marble, the white, like I just literally love everything. The stove is also gas, which is really nice. Um, got a dishwasher and microwave there. The sink is also really nice and big. Sorry, we have like random things here. The sink is also really nice and big. And then from the kitchen over here, this is like the living area. Um, this is our view. This is our balcony. The balcony is actually a really nice size and this unit is facing southwest so we do get sunsets which I'm so excited for because it's going to look absolutely beautiful. When we went to come toward the place um, there was actually a sunset and the lighting in here was just like literally astronomical. So I just bought the Hobbit mirror from Ikea. I think we're going to put it in the living room here so I can do like, like vlogging here and everything. Obviously I'm going to like unwrap it. So right here, coming from the living area, washer and dryer. And then walking in here is the guest ba bedroom, not bathroom. And then there's a nice big closet. You guys will see this more in depth when I like unpack everything. So this is gonna be my closet. And then you walk across here and this is the master with another closet, same idea. And there's also a bathroom in here. This bathroom is bigger. Oh, turned on the fan accidentally. Um, and this one is just a shower, it's not a bath. And yeah, there's lots of nice storage in this one. You can see there's like shelves and stuff and then you got the big nice drawers here. So yeah, we're gonna start moving in all our stuff. I just wanted to do this quickly for you guys before like we get everything in because it's literally like the crack ass dawn right now. Um, so anyways, here's another quick overview. You guys can get an idea of the layout. Yeah. Let's start moving some shit in. First, this is like the last time it's gonna be like this empty. Mostly everything in here looks like garbage bag central mania over here. The kitchen is just shit everywhere um, So this is where we're at at least I got like the brunt we got the brunt of everything up here today um, Thank you to Joel's parents for helping us set up the bar stools and yeah, honestly, we have no furniture right now We actually not we don't have no furniture. We got a dresser and then my Alex nine drawer in that room there 
and the couch i think i already told you guys but i got my dream couch and it's coming at the end of the month in march end of march so that's really exciting that's gonna be a big day when it comes they're gonna come and set it up and everything so that's actually really handy dandy to get it like delivered so i can't wait till that comes we also need to get like a tv we're gonna put the tv on this wall with the tv console and then the couch here so there's still lots to do i took the rest of the week off to or not the rest i took the whole week off to organize everything and just to get us settled because there's going to be like so many little things that we don't realize that we need right now and that are going to come up so i'm like going to be on call this week for anything we need i'm going to run to the store because my house is about a 30 minute drive away from here and so this is like a lot more central my house is more out in the boonies this is more like in the city if that makes sense um, I'm obviously not going to tell you guys my exact location because there's creepy people out there. Um, obviously, I trust you guys, but I don't trust, you know, you know what I mean. I'm a 30 minute drive away about and I still have stuff that I need to bring from my room, but I'm going to do that more slowly because that's like there's no rush to do that. I just want to kind of tackle this shit first and get everything organized. <sighs> but yeah, I'm happy. Day one is almost over i think we're gonna order wings tonight because it's half off and we don't really want to do any cooking right now because nothing is set up and put away so i feel like that would just be a giant mess especially with everything everywhere in the kitchen that would just like i i really don't want to do that right now so i think we're gonna order and yeah here i'll show you guys actually the furniture that we have in this room because this is gonna be like the office slash um my youtube room slash just you know, an extra office space-ish thing. So we put a dresser in here because I'm gonna have my clothing in here. Here, let me just turn on the light actually. So, so we put a dresser in here and then I'm gonna put my clothing in this closet. It's actually nice and big. There's like more space there. Um, yeah, very nice and big. I like how it has like the drawers like I have at home. Really nice. And then I also brought my Alex 9 drawer set. So I'm going to be putting my stuff back in here. And I think this is also going to stay in this room. And then Joel's going to get a desk. He already got a chair. This is really comfortable for him because he sits in it all day. And I think he's going to put his desk in this corner. One of, one of the corners. He's going to have his desk so he can have a view while he's working, which is really nice. And yeah, so that's the plans for this room. This is going to be my closet. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do now is we have wine glasses plates cutlery we actually got black cutlery i didn't give you guys like a ikea haul everything is kind of scattered but i'm gonna just show you as i go so we got black cutlery how sick is this like it's literally so sick i love the black um we got glasses and then black plates they're kind of like grayish but they match this really well and then wine glasses we also got champagne glasses I'm not sure where they are and then we got this knife set it only has three knives but this is all we need and it's black like how sick is this i kind of wanted to go with like an all black theme as you can see like our toaster is black our kettle is black this is black like i just feel like it really just matches the vibe you know so really like the black theme going on so what i think i'm gonna do is load the dishwasher with the dishes so that they can clean so i don't have to do it all by hand because you obviously want to clean it before you use them so we're gonna do that i'll give you guys a better angle Okay, so here are the plates. Literally, how sick is this? I'm obsessed. I was going to go with white, but then I'm like, you know what? Since I'm going with a black theme, why not get black plates too? Like, I just think that this is so sick. So these are just like the smaller um, plates that came with it, and then those are the bigger ones. And then here are the bowls that it came with. I literally can't like look at how sick this looks a dishwasher full of black dishes like it's just so sleek I just love it and I do love white as well I do but black just hits different for some reason and I'm literally in love so I'm just gonna do the dishes first to get it a nice good clean and then I'll do like the glasses next 
but honestly this dish set was such a good price and the quality is actually pretty good i think it was like 60 dollars for this whole dish set and then the cutlery was more expensive honestly for this whole cutlery set i think it was like 50 bucks but they're really good quality like these are like top notch um so i think we might end up getting another set just because there's not much as you can see i think it came with uh, four of each so four teaspoons four small forks four bigger spoons four bigger forks and then four knives So we'll see but I think I'm gonna end up getting another color set just because when you have guests and like when you use it, you know It's nice to have like more so I'm gonna put the load on right now. I'm literally so happy I went with the Black dishes like it looks so sick. So I don't know if I told you guys this But we are actually the first to live in this unit because the building is brand new like the landlord just got the keys uh, when we viewed the place so this is a literal brand new building like we're the first ones to live in this unit which is which just makes it like that much nicer because it's literally brand spanking new and it's just like such a good feeling so literally the first use of everything in this apartment yay okay let's put the load on and then we are so hungry like i'm ravenous i tried ordering wings but they weren't answering and then on uber eats it wasn't giving me the 50% off discount thing that they have going on today. So we don't know what to do, but I'm so hungry. I was just snacking on some grapes. But yeah, okay. Let's put the dishwasher on. No, but I'm literally looking up right now how much soap to use in a dishwasher. I'm pretty sure you could just pour it in and it doesn't matter. But I want to make sure, <laughs> like this is the type of little things that, you know, we're learning. Um, and you never knew you needed to know. So this is how we grow, this is how we learn. Two to three tablespoons. There's like a little slot here, so I'm just gonna fill that to wherever I think is right. We got the finish dish soap. Why can't I speak? Finish dish soap, I open her up. Joel, is this the right di um, hole, right? had dinner it was so freaking good like i literally ate so much so i think right now i'm pretty tired but i also want to be a little bit productive tonight so i think what i'm gonna do is i have like my everyday use toiletries like in my bag here so i think i'm just gonna unpack those into the bathroom right now because just so when i get ready for bed i already have everything in here um so i think we're gonna do that right now just so that i can get that done with and then tomorrow we're gonna go ham. Madison, my younger sister, and Sadie, her friend, were supposed to come tomorrow to help me unpack, but she realized that she works, so I don't know if they're gonna come anymore. Um, but they'll probably come like later in the week, which is still nice to have some help. But I do have the whole week to unpack, so I'm I'm actually really looking forward to like organizing it. Like having your own place is like so different because it's like everything is your your call. You know what I mean? Like everything that you do is like it's your place so you can decide what you want to do with it which is like so cool to me you know like everything in here is ours like it's our place everything in here which is crazy so it's like it's like fun because you get to like be creative with it because it's like nobody can tell you what to do that's literally the best thing okay so this is like the master bathroom and i love all these shelves like this is so handy dandy I think I'm gonna put most of my skincare products in here just to have it on display because Joel, okay, I'm gonna, this is like one of the good things is that he literally has barely any toiletries. Like this is all that he has and he keeps it in a bag. So he literally got one drawer, half of it is with toilet paper. So I guess since he only has that, I literally get to take this drawer and I get to take these cabinets because he doesn't have anything else, so. I just finished organizing. I really like it. It fit everything like so perfectly. I'm really happy at the way that this turned out. Like I just feel like it looks really aesthetic and really nice. And then like you just shut the doors and it hides it. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for this organization. And I had so much fun doing it. Like I honestly, like, I don't know if this sounds weird, but I really like organizing. I feel like a lot of people actually do. But like, I actually really like organizing and it just, 
it's fun especially when it's like your own things and then you can like get containers to organize like you get like little like things to help you organize and then it just like it's so satisfying like when i tell you i'm keeping this place so clean like every sunday i'm gonna do like a sunday reset i'm gonna clean everything i'm gonna film it for you guys so you guys can see my sunday reset i'm literally like gonna keep this place in spick spam condition this is like our space like i want it to be clean all the time and i want it to be organized and not have any clutter i'm trying to get rid of as much as i can like things that i don't use because it's I'm trying to learn to like live with less stuff. Like I got rid of like a lot of things. I got rid of like three garbage bags when I was cleaning out my room. So that was a start. But I just like want to start living with less and like things I don't use. Like why am I keeping them? I can give them away. I can donate them. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to really cut down on my things. Especially because this place doesn't have like a lot of storage. So I really, it really forces me to cut down, which is actually nice. But yeah, so... What time is it right now, actually? It's 8.40. It's actually not that late. This day has literally felt like forever because we woke up so early. Um, it's 8.40 and I might call it quits for the unloading tonight. And then I think I'm going to just like start again tomorrow. But now at least I have like all my bathroom shit away so that like I don't need to like dig through stuff to wash my face. Which is really nice. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll update you guys tomorrow. I'm excited to make progress in the big in the trash bags outside because it's literally overwhelming it's overwhelming but exciting because it's like you get a you could literally get a fresh start okay guys so i just wanted to address this right now because i literally love you guys so much like you don't even know you don't even know like the comments on my last video the support that i got i was like i'm still blown away like i just cannot believe that i have that many people who genuinely care about me and who genuinely support me and who have my back like 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 I can cry. You guys don't even know how thankful I am for you. Like every single person who watches my videos, like you right now, I am so thankful for you. Like from the bottom of my heart, I literally love you. Um, and I just wanted to say how grateful and thankful I am. I know I keep saying that, but like, I just can't believe it. How much support like I have. And you guys are literally the best people ever like i literally love you guys so much and i just wanted to come on here and say thank you so much for all the love obviously like today i'm trying to enjoy like the move as much as possible and as much as i can but you know what i talked about in my last video obviously it's still like weighing on me and it doesn't make things easy I'm definitely still going through somewhat of a rough time um i'm trying to obviously like look past it right now and like um be 100% excited and I am like I am but like obviously it's always that thing in the back of your head um but I just have to remember that this is my life at the end of the day and um I know that this is best for me and I'm so excited to start this new journey like I can't believe it's happening like it feels like I'm in a fever dream right now like it does not feel real like I swear like this does not feel real um like, you guys, one year ago today, I was not in this position. Like, I was not in this position. And look how much can change within a year. Like, if you have a dream, if you have a goal, go for it. Like, there is nothing to lose. There's really nothing to lose. Go and follow your dreams. Like, literally don't give a shit about what other people think about you. Because that's so irrelevant at the end of the day and you just gotta be you and live your life true to yourself and i like i want to practice what i preach and so that's why i wanted to tell you guys about like what happened it's happening and everything is because at the same time it's like i'm not just trying to say this to you guys i'm trying to live it as well and i want you guys to see me as a like an example that like i'm not just saying this shit like i'm actually doing it too and showing you guys that like this is some good shit like this is following your intuition this is living your dreams like this is doing what's best for you so yeah this just like all seems so surreal and i just 
it's gonna take me a while to wrap my head around it. it feels like it all happened so fast which it did but like i didn't even expect it like the universe is just like it just like literally just took me on a freaking elevator up it's like oh here's the next stage of your life like you need you need this like here you go like that's what feels like happened to me and I just feel like I'm in like a new energy space now and it just feels like so good. I just can't wait to make so much content in here. But the, there's probably going to be like five moving vlogs, maybe even more. I don't even know, but there's so much shit to do. So I'm going to like break it up. But so exciting. <sighs> and yeah, anyways, the point being, um, I just like literally want to thank you guys for the love on that video. And I couldn't be more thankful. Like I just... Don't even know how to express it into words. Like it's too big of a thankfulness to put into words to you. Okay, I'm just gonna go now before I say thank you one more time. Anyways. <laughs>